it is 9.30. It's time to go to bed because now that we've gone all the way from New York to Madrid, Madrid to Granada in one day. Hold on for a second. Let's rewind and see how this day started. Welcome to our Spain adventures. I'm traveling with my mother and for the next 24 hours, we're headed from New York City to Granada, Spain. It's going to be a crazy travel day, so let's start at the beginning. We transit from the heart of New York City to Newark International Airport. We are fortunate to have access to the brand new United Club Lounge. This space is huge and really comfortable with ample seating and good lighting. Most impressive was the huge food spread with food hot and cold served buffet style. Oh, very good. Pork pickles mustard. Desserts were okay. But three and a half hours into our trip, it was time to board our plane and head off to Madrid. I love that even in a red eye flight, dinner is still served and I still will eat it. Seven hours later, we've landed. All right, so we arrived this morning and uh, 15 minutes early at Madrid Bajadas Airport uh, from Newark. And passport control was pretty quick and we got our bags and then we jumped on a express bus that led us here to a Tocha station. Um, there was two stops. It took about 24 minutes to get here and it cost five euros each. And you were able to pay with your uh, phone. So that was convenient because we haven't been able to get euros just yet. Atocha Station uh, is a main hub for regional trains uh, for getting from Madrid to, to the rest of the country. Gonna grab some food. The meal was just a pretty simple, uh, I guess, Spanish style breakfast. We had combination plates. I had eggs with some jamón and some uh, potatoes, fried potatoes, chips, they call it. My mom had a tortilla española, and, uh, which is the classic uh, omelet with poached potatoes baked in with some salad. It's tasty. All right, so we are now back at Atoja Station after our little bite of lunch breakfast, I guess, to catch our train. Very convenient to have uh, a lot of people moved at once. This is that botanical garden built right into the station. We are inside Atocha Station in the botanical garden section, just checking this uh, scene out. It's a bit of a nice thing to kill some time, as we are doing right now. Right, so once you pass through security, which is pretty light, just some scanning of your big luggage and your jackets, uh, you go into the waiting room. So this is a pretty big space, but there's not a lot of chairs. Uh, and you just look at the screen until your train is ready to go and announce and you head down to the platform. So today we are taking a high-speed train from Madrid to Granada. Hmm? Time to board. Uh, from Madrid to Granada on the 
we were doing high speed train. Uh, our journey should be about three hours and 17 minutes. Uh, we were zooming along pretty quickly. We booked our tickets in a comfort seat uh, class, so that's actually a one and two uh, seat configuration, which gives us a little bit more space. Uh, that's nice. Uh, each seat has ample tabletop space as well as plugs and armrests uh, and a footrest, which is my favorite. A uh, little garbage pin, stuff like that. It's nice. It should be noted that currently, in early 2023, Spain requires masks to be worn on public transportation. Oh, and they still show some random movies on the ceiling TV screens. I love being able to get up and journey to the cafe car to grab some refreshments. It's a great chance to stretch the legs and treat yourself. We are in Granada. So we decided to take the metro system into the center of Granada. It's yes, conveniently sir. located just outside the train station so, and uh, pretty easy to navigate. There's only one line. Are you ready? Interestingly, that one line goes underground to become a more traditional subway. All right. And it is dark by the time we get to our hotel. I'll show you more of our grounds next episode. But wait, let's check out the room. It's very modern and spacious, but it's blocked by these marble tiles along the entire facade of the building. The bathroom and shower are bright and roomy. Gotta love a rainforest shower head. It is nightfall in Granada. Actually, it's just seven o'clock. And the city seems to be coming alive. We are walking to get some money after just checking in the hotel. This is my mom. Uh, eh, just getting a sense of the city before we go and grab dinner. Long day one. We went to Restaurante Rincón de Rodri, and uh, it's known for the seafood. So it's a kind of traditional Granada tapas style restaurant. You can order uh, larger dishes or ration. Um, we got a couple of those. So we ordered our drinks. My mom got a sangria, I got a house white wine, which was really good. And that came with a little fried fish with some cabbage roasted red peppers, and um, aioli, which was really yummy. As with traditional tapas, drinks come with a savory item in Granada, and these tasty morsels were a real treat. I think it's like fried smell. But we needed more food, so we ordered. All right, that's tasty. And then for uh, uh, the larger plates, we got a tomato salad, we got uh, some shrimp that was cooked in garlic, oil which was a little really good and spicy a little spicy and so oh my god they look beautiful okay. right. mm -hmm. oh it's over it's like sweet and garlicky oh, it's really tasty and then like a grilled 
red tuna, which is also really good. The portions were huge. Everything was really um, affordable. It's like 50 euros for everything, including drinks, water, all, those, all that seafood. Uh, the place was really crowded too and really popular. You can see why. Oh my God, I'm so full. So full. We've had a really, really long day. And uh, now that I just had this giant meal, it is 9.30. It's time to go to bed because now that we've gone all the way from New York to Madrid, Madrid to Granada in one day, it is time to get ready for our real big day at the Alhambra tomorrow. So come back and uh, check out the Alhambra. This is actually the one thing I've been looking forward to the most. I've always wanted to go to this landmark, so should be exciting. Plus, I'll get to eat more tomorrow. All right, night night, kids. Bye-bye. And um, so dinner was pretty good. We went to, oh no, here we go, look it up. All right.